In this segment, you can see a typical insulated case circuit breaker undergo reconditioning at Romac. We have selected a Westinghouse SPB or systems power breaker as our subject. First, the rear T connectors are removed. After that, the programmer cover and then the breaker cover are carefully removed. The paw and ratchet assembly are removed. The programmer, current sensors, and wiring harnesses are removed. After this, the main moving contact assembly is removed followed by the main stationary contacts. All metal parts are then placed in the vibratory cleansing systems for cleaning and polishing. The case, cover, and all insulating parts are cleaned and surface treated as necessary before reassembly begins. First, the various contact parts are reassembled into the contact subassembly. The main stationary and moving contacts are then reinstalled into the breaker. The cleaned and lubricated paw and ratchet assembly followed by the programmer mounting plate and then the programmer itself. The programmer cover is replaced. Then the technician manually operates the breaker to assure the mechanism is tight and operation is smooth. This breaker will be tested with a 2500 volt mega, a 10 amp digital low resistance ohm meter, and finally a high current primary injection test set. With the mega, we are looking to test the insulation resistance. This assures isolation between the phases and through the open contacts. Contact resistance along the current carrying path is checked with the DLRO. And finally, we are verifying the breaker trips in conformity with the manufacturer's guidelines with the primary injection tests. All results are recorded onto the test forms and into our database. In the interest of time, we have shown you only some of the reconditioning and testing steps in this video. Only when all tests and inspections are performed will the breaker receive its Romac quality seal as well as the Pearl quality seal.